Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. And I'm going to practice my decision making by timing myself. When you play in a tournament, you're on a timer. You got to play four hands in about 55 minutes. It turns out to be between 12 and 15 minutes per hand. So if you can really speed up your decision making through the Charleston, it kind of takes the pressure off. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I also have a timer up here on my smartphone. So I'm going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. And then laps two and four will be set up. And we'll just say we're the dealer. I'm going to create a mock Charleston now. I want to make sure there's no jokers in here too. So I'm just going to take a quick peek and I will replace them and mix them up. No jokers were in here. So All right, here we go. The last two times I did these sprints, I uh, was over. I went over time. So let's see if I can make it under two minutes. Under two minutes for advanced, under three minutes for uh, intermediate, and I think under four minutes if you're a beginner. Let's see how it goes. Power, power tiles. So I'm thinking with the four, we could do either two, four, six, eight, or we can do something consecutive, but we have to decide already. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. Look at all those tiles. Let's pass these three right there. There's two. Let's pass these three. There's a two. And we have to decide because now we have a six. So we have two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Let's give up on this. No, let's give up on the two because we could play a two, four, six, eight. We are passing a white dragon. I don't like doing that, but we kind of have to. Oh, there's a two. Oh my goodness. We have to pick now. Two, two, six is not helpful. Two, four, six, eight, and two, six, that's not helpful. Let's throw these two. We're gonna get stuck. Five, one, we gotta give up on something. Let's give up the six. There's a six. I think two, four, six, eight, and one suit is coming in. Let's, let's break, let's give these up. There's a six and a flower. Let's give these three up. Lap. There. I was over. Five seconds. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Four discards. That was not too bad. This would be probably either the concealed hand on the bottom or the first hand on the top. We've got a single, a pair, a pung, and a single. I am thinking probably at this point the concealed one, depending on how the drawing goes. Okay, that was sprint one. Let's do sprint two. Checking for jokers. There's one. All right, here we go. Sprint two. No multiples at all. So here I'm seeing we have no eights, so I don't think a two, four, six, eight is going to work. I'm thinking two, three, four, five. Two, we don't need the south. We could look at all these six, seven, five, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Let's pass these three. 
I think four, five, six, seven, or three, four, five, six, maybe a three, six, nine at this point. Three, six, nine. I should have kept that nine. I think a three, six, nine might work here. We don't have any nines though, but maybe we'll get it back. Let's pass these three, one of each suit. There's a nine, saving grace. Let's pass these three. There's a six. We have two tiles to pass. Three, six, nine, three, six, three, six, three, six, three, six, nine. Let's give up on the three. Three, six. Three, six, three, six, nine. Right across left, left, we're on a cross. We have to break up our hand. Three, six, three, six, nine. We only have two tiles to pass. Let's, let's break, let's give up a three dot. Maybe we'll get it back. Pass, last right. Okay, we're gonna pass right. Oh, this is optional cross. Maybe we'll get that three dot back. No, we didn't get it back. That's okay though, we're still set, lap. Okay, I went over on that one, two minutes, 22 seconds. But look, we're set, three, six, three, six, nine, three discards. Pung the three, that's good to go. Kong the nine, set. That was a good Charleston. Okay, one more time. I gotta make some better time. I'm thinking lucky 13. Nine, four. We do not have a one, three though. Let's save the ones and the fours. So let's give up those three. Maybe we should give up one of the sixes though instead of being left with like numbers. Okay, there's a pair. Gonna break it up. Wow, look at all these. We keep getting that seven. Maybe I should have stuck with that. Six, five, okay, no keeper. We're looking for lucky 13. There's a three and a nine. Patience is a virtue. Let's discard these three. Four, nine, east. We don't need any of those. Let's get rid of those. Nope, those are good to go. Well, we could probably do better on that pass. Let's break that up there, those three. Optional cross. Three in. Lap. Okay, lucky 13. Six discards. That's pretty bad. But we have no gaps. Nine, four, one, three. What we really need here are flowers. We can call for the four, call for the nine. We need a one bam and flowers. Six discards. That's going to be a pretty rough go. But building around these multiples, that's not too bad. Let's see how the timing was. That last one I really pushed. Okay. Two minutes, five seconds for sprint one. Two minutes, 22 seconds for sprint two. So that's 27 seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 34. So I didn't quite make it. Five minutes and 61 seconds. I went over by one second. I call that close enough. That's hard work though. 
If you haven't tried this yet, give it a try yourself. Man, it's kind of exhausting, but it feels really good to make quick decisions. And when you play in a regular game, it'll make going through the Charleston feel like a breeze. No pressure at all. And if you play in tournaments, I think it really will take the pressure off. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Once you click subscribe, you'll see a bell. Click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these uh, exercises and maybe some strategies and insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.